A great artist isn't just a creator who's able to produce great art, but is someone who can avoid stagnation and remain innovative throughout their work. To avoid this complacency, artists will turn towards various channels of inspiration, such as locations, mentors, personal experiences, new interests, among many others. In music, the downfall preceding one's stagnation is all too real. We've seen this with artists such as Eminem, Wiz Khalifa, and the Migos. At one point, they had all the limelight. However, by going through the same motions album to album, their art became stale and as a result, less sought out as they were no longer creating and instead following a formulaic process that got them to where they are now. Before we hop right into hip hop, let's talk painting. Vincent Van Gogh, who although had a short career in art at just 10 years, is a great example of a creator who was always innovating his work. At age 27, Van Gogh fully began pursuing painting. He started out by taking art lessons from artist Anton Mauve, who influenced Van Gogh's earliest work, which was known as peasant painting, a style of realism that depicted dark, rugged, and unpleasant pictures of real life. His peasant paintings were not so popular given their gritty nature, so Van Gogh sought out to reinvent his work and did so by moving to Paris to be an understudy of artist Fernand Cormand. From here Van Gogh began developing his signature brushwork and began forming a calmer, more colorful approach to his work. Still, his paintings were not gaining much traction, so again he further developed his style and chose to move to the beautiful sunbathed city of Arles in southern France. Here his work became even more expressive, taking the form of a more psychedelic look and led to his most famous piece called Starry Night. Compared to his peasant paintings years earlier, one would think these two were created by completely different artists. Sadly, Van Gogh took his own life just a year after Starry Night's creation and didn't gain the international popularity he eventually received until a decade later. Just as someone would be surprised to find out Van Gogh made both the dark and gritty Potato Eaters piece as well as the bright and expressive Starry Night's one, equally as surprising is how an artist like Kanye created both the soulful college dropout as well as the experimental Yeezus, or how Tyler the Creator made a brash song like Yonkers but also such a pretty one like See You Again, or even how Playboy Cardi went from an airy, light, and easy listen to album like Die Lit to the brash in your face punk rap album that is whole lot of red in just two years. All three of these musicians are examples of those who are constantly reinventing themselves and their brand, keeping them relevant within music. Although taking risks such as these can be risky, like Kid Cudi's Speed Bullet to Heaven, for example. I'm feeling a zero on this. They can also lead to great outcomes, or at the very least unlock doors for the artist creatively that had previously gone unnoticed. Let's look at Lil Wayne and Kanye. These two were the dominating forces of hip hop in the mid to late 2000s. And although I think Lil Wayne is one of the best rappers ever, he did eventually become stagnant creatively in the early 2010s, and because of this is no longer nearly as relevant as he once was. However, Kanye approached his career in music with no bounds to his creativity, being perfectly comfortable and seemingly purposeful in risking his reputation by releasing unconventional albums like 808s and Heartbreak as well as Yeezy. Comparing these two now, it's clear that Kanye, the artist who kept reinventing himself and his music, is the far more prosperous one. Like his mentor Lil Wayne, I can't help but think Drake is setting himself up to experience a similar decline in popularity. In 2011, he released Take Care, a Grammy winning album that was central to the soft, emotional wave that took over hip hop and still dominates the genre to this day. Then in 2013, he released Nothing Was The Same, a braggadocious triumphant rap album that featured unorthodox rap pop songs like Started From The Bottom. His next two albums again offered something different than his previous work. On If You're Reading This It's Too Late, Drake further explored his sound with a more trap yet ambient style and on Views took a chance with a pop dance hall sound with songs like Controlla and One Dance. Since then, it has felt like Drake has remained complacent and scared to take any risks creatively. This became blatantly obvious with the release of Certified Lover Boy. On this album, Drake played it very safe and as a result produced a project that was in my opinion predictable, boring, and of little replay value. Looking at Spotify streams from Drake's previous three projects, 2017's More Life experienced a 20% decline in streams from its first week of release to the second week. 2018 Scorpion experienced a decline of 46% and Certified Loverboy a decline of 62%. Poor replay value for albums lead to stunted longevity, which I believe will happen to Drake if he doesn't change things up. The level to which Drake's popularity has risen to is likely one of the main reasons for his safe, no-risk plays in how he approaches his music. Yet Kanye was in a similar position around 2010 when he released My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which was at the same age Drake is now. Instead of playing it safe, Kanye followed up My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy with Yeezus, an experimental electronic rap album. Album. This then set him up perfectly for the release of T-Lop, as fans hadn't heard a true hip-hop project from Kanye for six years prior to its release. Van Gogh was quoted saying, It certainly is true that it's better to be high-spirited, even though one makes more mistakes, than to be narrow-minded and all too prudent. Essentially, Van Gogh is saying it's better to take risks than stay stagnant for fear of one's future success. This is extremely relevant for Drake, and something he should consider as he prepares his next move. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to Tofu Media and follow us on Instagram to catch more videos like this one.